Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today, I wanted to talk about something really, really simple. Just open circuit, closed circuit. All right. When I started out as a technician, this was a very, very difficult concept for me to wrap my brain around. I figured if something was open, it was good. Like the store is open, you want to go to the store, that's a good thing. And if it was closed, well, that was bad. And um, the store is closed, I can't get what I need. So it was hard for me to wrap my brain. And there may be some young technicians out in the field that are watching this that are saying, hey man, I, I just don't have it figured out. A couple things and we'll make it really, really simple, okay? First of all, we're gonna start with our little switch here and we'll see that at right now the little gate or the little drawbridge or whatever you wanna call it, the stick, the path, whatever, is up in the up position. It's not connected to the other line. Therefore, there's a space right here that is open. All right, so that's how we'll designate this as open. All right, so if it's open, we are going to see the voltage because our meters are gonna measure between L1 and L2 a difference in potential. That's what our meters do. When we have it set to volts and we put it between two points, it's measuring a difference in potential. So to recap, if this switch is open, our meters are gonna read a difference in potential between two points and reflect 120 volts on the screen of our meter, all right? So let's say that's not the case. Let's say that it is closed. Now, It's closed, it's no longer open. So let's say it's closed. We can go from one side all the way over to the other, right? We can go from one side all the way over to the other. So now our, our meters can no longer read a difference in potential. So if we put our meters here, our leads here and here, guess what we would see then? Then we would see zero on our screen. So if it's open, I'm gonna read voltage 120. If it's closed, I'm gonna read zero on the screen of our meter. Now, here's a cool thing. Notice I don't have a load in this at all. So why don't you chime in on the, on the below, give us your comments and tell me what would happen if I don't have a load right there. That's a short little lesson on open and closed. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday, and we'll see you at another time. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Uh, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely wanna hear from you, and we'll see you next time.